Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCrory and this is Would You Make It? This is a father-daughter video, except Kat's not here to do the intro with me. Um, she's made a book of haikus for a birthday present for a friend, and we're going to make a wooden cover for it. So, let's get started. We're going to make the book cover out of a leftover piece of quarter sawn white oak. This is leftover from a door project that Kat and I worked on. And we're going to cut this to be about a quarter of an inch thick, and ultimately the book cover will be about an eighth of an inch thick when we're all done. Kat found it a little slow going, so she asked me to finish up. The idea is that we're going to use a laser to engrave some of Kat's artwork into the cover of the book. So we're just sanding it down to the final thickness. Okay, so we want the cover of the book to be nine inches long. So I want you to measure the distance between this side of the blade and this pin right here on the stop block to be nine inches. That's pretty close actually. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be perfectly nine. We can always trim it later if we need to. Okay. All right, so now tighten these up. Push this down. And then make your cut. Can I hold like this? Yep. Okay, and then do it one more time for the other, the back cover. Hold like this? Yep. Same as last time. Mm. We're gonna use this brand new X-Tool D1 laser that I got from MakeBlock. So it's perfect timing because we had this book that we needed to make. All right, and now we're ready to burn the image onto the front cover. All right, here's a little sample that I cut last night just to test my new laser. And it worked pretty easily. So all you do is you load the image in here and then you connect to the device and press start. Okay, and while that's loading the image, I'm going to put this piece of wood in here. So if I click the framing button, that draws the outline of where it's going to burn. And it looks like it's a little bit too close to the top. So I'm going to push it up. Maybe about there, let's try it again. That's pretty centered. Look good? Yep. Cool. All right. I had to assemble the laser when I received it, but it was pretty easy. They have online videos available to assist with that. This laser is more powerful and faster than my other laser, and it's also larger. It can engrave up to 16 inches by 17 inches, so this is a really nice addition to my workshop. The laser engraving that we're doing on the book cover is relatively simple, so I wanted to show this rotary attachment, which is pretty cool. It allows you to engrave on the outside of a, of a cylinder. And I went to Target and bought these candles, and I want to experiment with engraving my logo on the outside edge of it. I put some masking tape on. I wasn't sure if I needed to do this, but the glossy surface is fairly reflective. And at a minimum, it just protects my eyes. Even though I'm wearing goggles, there's a lot less reflection with the masking tape. After peeling off the masking tape and then cleaning it up with a little bit of denatured alcohol, it looks pretty good.
So one thing I like about this laser compared to my other one is it's really easy to focus the laser. All you do is you bring down this little lever, lower it until it touches the workpiece, screw it in, and then raise that back up. Now it's focused. That's pretty cool. All right, so now we're ready to do the back cover. And while we're burning the back cover, I'll show another candle that I burned that's a different color. And the rotary tool was pretty easy to use. All I did was plug it in, and then when I went to do the burning, it asked me, are you using the rotary tool? And when you answer yes, it figures everything out. And it also turned out pretty nice. All right, now what we want to do is cut a groove on the inside edge of the cover just to hold the hinge. And then we're going to cut just a very small amount that's going to, that's going to shave off here. All right? And then for the back piece, we want these to attach, okay? And so we're going to raise the router bit up and we're going to cut both pieces. Now it's nice and flush. Okay, now we gotta cut the hinge to length. Okay. And then let's put some on this edge here. Cat had to step out for a little while, so I'm using a chamfer bit here to make a little bit of clearance for the hinge. And I'm attaching the hinge with some epoxy. I tried not to use too much epoxy, but there was still a lot of sanding that had to be done. And then I'm finishing it with some Odie's oil.
Okay, so now we need to drill these holes through and these holes are a little bit too small for the pins that we're going to use. Um, so drill very slowly because this is metal and you want to make sure, proceed cautiously, you want to make sure it doesn't catch on the drill bit. So hold this firmly, come down slowly, go all the way through. Oh, we don't want to drill through into boxwood, that's too expensive. Can you grab another piece or, or use this piece? Can I use this piece? Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, and does that drill go down far enough? Okay. So now we just want to line the holes up. So we'll put the back here and get it all lined up and then flip it over. And you just want to hold them together and then drill the hole all the way through. And now Cat has to cut all the pages to fit and punch the holes. I think you're going to find it easier instead of trying to line them all up. Just put the screws uh, th through the top and then put a few one at a time. So these ones, eh? Yeah. And I would do it the other way around so that you don't have the screw, the the head of the screw on the top, put the flat side on the top. Oh, and these? And on then, the bottom? Th yeah, those little screws go in the bottom. Do they match up with, um... They're all the same. No, I think it's a perfect, perfect length for this book. Yeah, perfect. You don't protrude at all. Well, good thing he doesn't have any more friends. Yeah. Two more friends and we would have been screwed. There you go. Oh, cool. Very cool. I like it. He's gonna love that. So I gotta ask, would you make it?